Um, let's hop in. Now, I have an idea for a build. I was looking some up. Trying to think a way I want to build it. Um, what I think I'm going to do... Uh, here's a toss-up what I was thinking of doing. is either, I want Dwarf Melee. I've never played a Melee in this game. So I'm thinking Dwarf Melee, and I think I'm either going to do Explosives or Chemistry. Because uh, I think with... Well, I think then you can like basically enchant your weapon type of thing. Put charges on it so I can either do poison damage like with chemistry you might do fire damage with chemistry too uh, but I also want to do smithing because I want to uh, make my own weapons and armor uh, but let's uh, hop in shall we uh, new game new character I have to be a dwarf just love being a dwarf I'm gonna pick this guy All right, he, uh, of course, he's he's Mikey. I gotta choose our background. Um, so yay. Let's see. So we got raised by snake handlers, receive twenty percent increase to your resistance to poison, but suffer beauty since the number of bite scars on my arms and legs. All right. Blacksmith. Master's a hard man. You gain bonus to strength and bonus to your repair skill, but suffer penalty to dexterity due to the strenuous, repetitive, hard labor. Right, it's my monks. Piety has an advantage. Disadvantage, you gain a bonus to perception, but renounce the material world. Leave only one quarter of your normal. Oh, okay. One quarter starting well. Child of a hero. Start with your father's plus one sword and are known throughout the lands as child of a hero. Therefore, will incur terrible negative reaction or any evil act. You are orphaned as a young child for inheritance. Inherited a lot of money. Easy life costs you a penalty of a negative one willpower. Most of the money has been sent by now. But you gain it twice no more starting. Hmm. Because I want to go techie, so I don't need willpower. I think willpower is more for magicka. But I'm going to go more tech. So I don't think the willpower is good. Unless there's another benefits to willpower, we'll see. Did it work anything? Gets one strength, one con, 15 of technological aptitude, plus two ranks in all tech skills. Character suffers negative one charisma and dexterity and hampered in throwing spells, finding, and they cost twice. Uh, finding that they cost twice as much to cast. Dwarf males are short, stocky, da da da. So I get one strength, one con, 15 to technical aptitude, two ranks to all tech skills. Hampered in throwing spells. All right. Clan Dwarf, do not belong to a clan. You did not discuss the reasons why. You get no Dwarven bonuses to tech skills, but you start with an excellent Dwarven Warhammer. You have suffered... <laughs> Set up brain I have brain damage. Negative two int? No, because I need to go int with mine. That's not going to work. Personal knife tosser, going to throw knives. When you lose an eye in a freak accident, you lose a point of perception. You get an excellent bonus to your throwing skills. Shopkeeper, lose one negative dex. You gain good to haggle. That's not so bad. You're born during an astronomical event. As a result, you experience a few critical hits, critical misses. But when you do get them, they're, oh, they're spectacular. Extreme personality. You possess extreme personality. People react more strongly to your presence. They tend to grow to either love or hate you. Bookworm. Bonus to int, negative to perception. I don't think I need perception. 
Bully gets a strength, uh, but I'm dumber. No. Hyperactive counts are busy. The speed is higher than normal. But people find you annoyed. Negative one. No. You an army trainer during your youth. You were discharged for flat feet. You gain bonuses to strength as well as slight bonuses to your bow and melee skills. Negative dexterity. That's kind of nice, though. Roll off spring. You're ugly. Negative four. Uh, beauty and charisma. Negative four. <laughs> no. No. Ran away with the circus. Have run away with the local troop, the circus performers. You have gained a considerable strength, plus six, but have serious deficiencies in intelligence and willpower perception. No. Raised in the pits. Being a veteran local pit fighter, you gained a two to strength, two to dex. And bonus to all combat skills. Vicious combat is also taking a toll. Head trauma and severe No, I don't No, I need the int. Sickly, negative two strength, negative four cotton. No. Uh, beat with an ugly stick. You're ugly. Negative six beauty. No. The beauty is plus. I mean, oh, I'm pretty. I'm good looking. I get plus six beauty, unfortunately. All that primping and powdering. And negative two con strength. No. I've been convinced by traveling salesman to come in as apprentice. You get up your life as a military academy you were rolled in. You gain major bonus of plus six charisma, but lose some strength. Con. Flat penalties on your combat. No. Educator. Negative, uh... Oh, one less follower. I don't know about that. Barbarian, nope. I like some of the stats, but I need... And I want... I don't loot, uh, get less charisma. Uh, Nietzsche once says, uh, which does not kill me, makes me stronger. Maybe referring to you. All your life you've been making mistakes, and you've always come out better afterwards. In other words... You critically fail more than normal, but you have 10% experience bonus. Hold your soul. Ooh, negative 20 reaction. Oh, no. Negative uh, plus 20 to magical? No. Agrophobic. Nuts, negative int. Hydrophobic. I think that's why I have water. No. Magic allergy. Hmm. 10% bonus to all techni technological aptitude. That's a nice one. How many are there? I haven't played this game in like 18 years, so I'm getting re-familiarized myself with this. I played a little bit. I streamed it about, oh, about a year ago for a couple hours. Uh, mainly it was a test to see if I can get this to actually work on my PC. Grip as a child, very uh, permissive parents. You basically got away, always got a, uh, always got your own way. Six willpower. I don't need willpower. A mad doctor, two int, two perception, twenty percent electrical resistance. Bonus to healing is plus one, but you suffer... Uh, no. Miracle operation? Oh, what is this? Oh, uh, negative strength, dex, and continu. That'd be a horrible thing to do as melee. Eyes over sense of light, therefore you're blinded by daylight. No, that would suck. I'm almost might do the inheritance where I'm I get more money I don't need the willpower okay so inheritance might be the winner well this one might be good too an extra int I don't think I really need perception since I'm melee. I 
How do we do that? Now that actually might save me a point, too. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll be a bookworm. All right. I don't need any will. Can I lower any of it? Can I change any of this? Oh, there we go. There's my points. No, is that right? No, there's my points. So I want nine charisma. And I think the rest I want. Oh, that's right. All your points match. Uh, I need melee. Uh, in tech, we all got here. Repair, fire, and pick locks, traps. So we got some points in a melee. I do want healing. I know Virgil, your first guy, he heals you. But he, uh, it's magic. So since I'm going the tech route, I'm not going to have, uh, I'm not going to get healed hardly at all. Now, if you look on here, uh, where my cursor is on the right side, you have magic and tech. So the more tech you go into, the worse for magic. And I think it's worse for people with you in your group, too, to use magic. So it's almost better to have a bunch of tech people or neutral in your group. Um, but smithy I want to go into, because we can make swords and weapons. And some armor. And I'm thinking chemistry. Because we can use the strong poison, we can basically put it on our weapon. And I think there's more we could put on later. Uh, you can learn new spells. Um, but I think right off the bat, I'm, I think I'm going to have to go heal Sav. I got one point left. Do I want to do Smithy? Requires five int. How much int do I have? nine so i'll have to put points into int as far as i can go if i go this right now hmm do i want more in melee the skill is dependent upon your decks maybe we should raise our decks I figured int and decks were the things i need to raise We'll do that. We'll see how that goes. Now you can pick how you want. And it'll automatically level up for you too. But I figured I don't need any help. I'll get myself. Uh, I got $400. I am melee. Oh jeez. 259 coins? Is that single-handed? Let's tell me. And I like the idea of the axe. Quality sword, 173. Two to nine. Get a crappy sword, but why do that? I prefer axe, but I don't think that's going to work well. Let's assume that's two-handed, but I don't know. I think D and D will uh, one to twelve damage. I think one D twelve is two-handed weapon. Two to nine, one to eight. Look at this. 
Uh, any arm? Oh my god, that's expensive. Um, a dwarf. I think I I need small. Five fifty one coins. C three. Hmm. Sixty coins for healing sob. Oh boy, that'd be nice to have too. We'll grab a few. Got a hundred dollars. I wonder if I should just end it there. Because I don't know if I want to go for broke. Not going to have armor, but maybe I'll find some. Me, please. Oh, thank you, my friend. I haven't got much time. <coughs> you must find the boy. Find the boy and give him back his ring. Now he will know what needs to be done. <coughs> now listen, listen to me. We had to do it. He did unspeakable things to us, and we, we had no choice but to do as he said. And there are so few of us left, but the work is almost finished, and then the evil, oh, you can't imagine. He's coming back to destroy everything, everything and everyone. Now, please, just find the boy. <coughs> Tell him that I escaped. I came back to warn. <clears throat> he will know what to do. You, my friend, it's all up to you. Up to me. Nikki, you're on our hope. Awesome. I can't believe it. I mean, you and and then the Zeppelin and. And the fire! And the altar says that... Do you have any idea what all of this means? What are you going on about? You speak! I, I mean, <laughs> of, of course you speak. What am I, a blathering idiot? Wait, what, what did you say? Maybe I should be writing all of this down. All right. What are you talking about? Oh, the man. I am at a loss here. I, I, I don't quite know what to do. Uh, I mean... 
are the... the well, of course you are. I mean, you do know who you are, right? Of course you do. What, what, what sort of brainless, half-baked question is that for the, the, uh, the, uh, what, 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 what do you call yourself? Uh, hmm. let's be nice. Yeah, slow down. Tell me what it is. Please saying. forgive me. I, I'm making a bloody mess of this whole affair. My name is Virgil, sir, and I'm new to the Panari religion. Uh, your religion, and I. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, I, uh, hereby dedicate. No, no. Uh, commit my life to the living one. I, Virgil, am at your service, sir. I mean, living one. But speaking in riddles. Yes, yes, of course. You see, you're him. I, I mean, the uh, the reincarnation of a uh, what's his name? I I can never remember. And and I, I'm always getting him mixed up with the other fellow, the the bad one. You, <laughs> um, well, you know how all of those old elven names sound the same. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't think I'm quite getting the gist of it, old yes, boy. Yes, right. Uh, just give me a moment here. You you see, the Panari. That's the religion that was formed around the things that he said. I, I mean, that you said. Oh, forget it. Let, let's start at the beginning. Or this beginning, since there is a lot more that came before this. You are the reincarnation of a powerful elf who the Panari worship and whose name is, uh... Yes? Right. Yes, uh, the name. Oh, uh, wait. I remember something. It is written in the scriptures. The living one will live again on wings of fire. No, 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 wait. I think it says, reborn on wings of fire. Oh, blood and ashes. Why do elves always have to be so damn cryptic? Do the scriptures speak of a dying gnome and a ring? Hmm. I don't know about the ring, but this business about the evil one returning. Oh, as I've said, I don't know a whole lot about the Panari prophecies, I think you were supposed to return and fight someone evil. Ah, uh, bloody hell! I should know more of this. Uh, let's see. I might, uh... Make it a rule not to speak of re uh, with religious fanatics. This excuse you. Imagine how I feel. It doesn't seem well reversed. The scriptures... Ludicrous. Uh, confusing. I would like to clear up your confusion, but I am new to the Panari religion myself. I must bring you to meet my mentor, Elder Joaquim. He can answer your questions. He is in Shrouded Hills, a town at the base of these mountains. Uh, who's this Joaquim fellow? Joaquim, well, gave me a hand when I needed it. Showed me the truth of the Panari and its beliefs. He's a very wise man and will know what needs to be done. Well, let's talk to this fellow Joaquim. The path out of here leading down to Shrouded Hills is down to the southeast. We'll stop by the Panari Shrine on the way out. See if it makes any of this any more clear. We should look for any other survivors before we leave, though. What do you think? Yeah. Passport for Preston Radcliffe. And matchbooks for Rosenbaugh. Rosenbrow Inn. Ah, right, so we want to loot a bunch of this stuff. Uh. Hey, dog, I'm trying to loot. Alright, well, uh, what'd that say? My dearest Jared, I'm bored the F5 Zephyr speeding my way to you again. My breath catches when I think that in two short weeks I should be your wife. That is correct, my dear. I'm accepting your proposal. I hope thoughts of me warm your heart in the long days and nights guarding Vermilion Station from half orc looters you mentioned? Lamina. Now, like I mentioned before, I I haven't played this game in like 
probably 18 years and love this game loved it one of my favorite games so we're gonna see if it still holds up as one of my favorite games after played this for a while are you blind what in god's i i mean better luck next time all right i think we're fine I wonder how this would work. We can change this to turn based. Remember, right? Yeah, real time turn based, fast turn based. Should I try it turn based? I don't know if I've ever played it this way. Weapon way. Okay. Why does nobody have anything on him? Oh, what does he have? Electrolyte solution. Healing is, uh, well, your healing will work on me for now. I pick up these flowers, if I remember right, I need them for, might be for my healing. Speaking of that. Get him! I have such horrible aim! Get him! Are you blind? What in God's... I, I mean, better I, luck next time! I, I must be! <laughs> I'm sorry, Virgil, but I'm sucking! See, so is the wolf. Hmm... 45% chance to hit. Uh, I don't believe that's that's the case. There we go. That was some horrible, horrible fighting. Uh, edge of the map. Alright. Anything else we want to loot while we're on our way over here before? Yeah. Put the, put the weapon away. still oh money 17 get him Virgil you suck Virgil I'm glad he's hitting me. I can't hit him at all. Am I too far away? I mean, he's hitting me. 
There we go. Get it! Get the little red thing. I need more. I must mean more dexterity, because... Oh my god, he knocked me down. Wakey, wakey! That fight didn't go well. Might as well just kill these wolves. Get XP. There we go. 